You could open up anywhere in the world. Why did you pick Grenada? You know, Grenada, they showed me so much love last year, and I wasn't able to run here, but I still ended my season as a world champion. So I wanted to come back this time and be able to give back to the people here. Coming off of that world champion win, you told me yesterday that you walk the length of this track for your cues. <laughs> They're waiting for you. That you walk the length of this track for your cues so you can unfold this race. Where did it unfold tonight? Um, I knew I had some good starters at Mike Rogers, Andrew Fishes, Isaiah Young. So I know they're going to get out really good. So I had to make sure I transition about 30, 30 to 70 meters and be able to hold on strong. In the past, you have been perceived in the media and around the world as very robotic and unapproachable and very stoic when you compete. Moving forward in 2018, what side of Justin Gatlin do you want yep. the world and media to see? The irony, of today, the irony was today, I had a man approach me and said, you know, on TV you seem unapproachable. You seem very aggressive, but I've watched you around the hotel and you seem very laid back and unbothered. I just want the world to so know that that's me. What you see on the track is me at work. So when you approach me, I'm here for everybody. And I just no. love being able to compete. You told me that after winning the world championship last year, you felt like an enormous weight was finally lifted oh. off of your shoulder. Being approachable in 2018, how important is that going to be for your competitions moving forward? Um, just put in the hard work, but at the same time, capture the fun of it. It's 2018, so not a championship year, but I, I still want to have the importance of being able to put the hard work in and put on a great show for the people. So we're in Grenada and it is the land of spice. This morning you told me that if you had to describe yourself as a spice, it would be cinnamon. I said I was cayenne pepper. Would you like to change your answer now? Well, since you took cayenne pepper, <laughs> and, I, and I seem like I'm known to be cayenne pepper on the track, I took cinnamon. Cinnamon is something that people can like, uh, but too much of it can be spicy. Um, and I'm just glad. I'm glad to be a spice here in the island. You have <laughs> spice and you have likability and all of these fans are waiting for you. Go enjoy this. Thank you, thank you so much. Lewis. All right, Jill, great moments there with Justin Gadlin who has traveled a long way to come down and rock the house and he did just that. Justin Gatlin winning the 100 meter hurdles, the final event of the night. But his duties are not done. He's got some awards to receive and of course all these fans who are still here want to see him so Gatlin will make the rounds of the stadium here winning in 10.05 Isaiah Young closes in second in 10.11 and then Mike Rogers right behind him in third so right down the middle of the track Justin Gatlin of the United States winning the final race the 100 meters here in Grenada